in Morocco with Freddie and Max and we're heading towards the Atlas Mountains and out of Marrakesh. We're now well and truly out of Marrakesh and we're on some beautifully smooth roads and the roads are pretty quiet at the minute I think as the result of the Moroccan-Croatian uh, football match of the World Cup. Bonjour, salut. How's the riding been so far? Cracking the road. Bit of a 2% uphill, classic creeper. Good gravel. I haven't seen any camels yet, but you know. And the people are being really friendly. Lots of waves. They have. Awesome. Maybe that means Morocco's won the football. <laughs> about 90k in and coming to the end of day one on the bikes we're going to a pretty nice hotel should be a pool uh, go for a swim as it's pretty warm into the high atlas by the Tizi Natichka uh, pass which is the highest pass in North Africa and it's the gateway to the Sahara but yeah it's 55 kilometers of climbing and then should be downhill the rest of the day it's about 120 kilometers a day uh, day two what's the temperature like ready it's not too hot tepid
25k on the block and now should be generally downhill to the accommodation tonight. So during the climb we uh, met three French friends and uh, dispatched them. dinner actually because lunch <laughs> <laughs> go on josh <laughs> what were the um apples like oh they're absolutely trash yeah not a fan of the apples no. in morocco no everything else has been good is the tea good when you put like four cubes of sugar in it's pretty good like an energy gel you enjoying the food already really love apples <laughs> <laughs> been to do and we've ditched the bags at our um, hotel and we're doing a ride bagless it's gonna be a bit of fun about 80k so a bit of a rest day game, game of, of thrones. thrones game of, of thrones well. a bit of gladiator there's yeah, a pretty stunning backdrop done 5k and I already feel like we've achieved an, an epic ride. Uh, Max has outdone himself with the route planning on this one. Max, what's uh, in the distance? It's a solar farm. Pretty big one. It's very large. <laughs> and what's the uh, big thing in the middle sticking out? Reflecting the sun into all the solar panels. Have you got Marino socks on? Why? How? How? Quite hot, aren't they? Jersey. Yeah. How you doing? Tired. Um, glad you brought a lot of food. So we're, I think we're all bonking a little bit. It was uh, definitely a, a tough one for a rest day. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Max? Yeah, good, Freddy. Good. Can't catch him. 
We're getting dispatched by a guy with jeans. Absolutely dispatched. <laughs> Road good now. Breakaway, last of the breakaways before. Valid effort. Daily summary. The next 60 second segment, Josh, how did today go? So, we did a bit of cycling, a bit of gravel, a bit of hike bike. Um, probably should roll my sleeves down to protect myself from the sun. Um, Bounce out those timelines. Yeah. Um, how many bonks would you say on the record? I think we've all bonked at least once. Uh, Orange Junior uh, sorted me and Freddy out. Max didn't have any, that's why he cracked on the way back in. <laughs> Um, I had to get some sweets. No <laughs> comment. Um, about five oh, he's up. He's oh, attacking. He's off, he's oh, this off. is it. He's done, this is the Max Moyles absolute classic. Had too many sweets. Many sweets. Um, but yeah, good day overall. Not much of a rest day. No, I would agree with that. Um, yeah, but 180k tomorrow, so I need to rest up, pack the bags again, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. I think the bike's in a bit of a clean though. They've got a bit of a, a, bit I think of a hammering we can today. Chain. Yeah, need to use some of the well tied products that I've brought along. Uh, a bit of the wipes and get two of them. Yeah. 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 Oh, what a view! Look at that, what a view! What are we looking at there? Hi, Benedict. Uh, bit of Game of Thrones filmed here. Won well, though, didn't watch it. Uh, Gladiator though. Am I going to roast it for that? Disrespecting Game of Thrones <laughs> live TV. Well, it's, it's not live and it's not TV. <laughs> oh, burned again. <laughs> one of the well tied disc brake um, cleaning wipes and use it for my chain and um, get rid of the gunk that's um, uh, been on it for the last few days from all the desert riding. Get it clean and then re-lube it again. I want to show the viewers that tan line as well. Pretty good. <laughs> <close. laughs> that was upsetting. Pardon? It's upsetting that tan line. It's upsetting. Right, that'll do. It's not going to be perfect, but... Uh, what lube you use? I'm going to be using the ceramic um, lube um, from Welltide and get it lubed up again. What day are we on? Day four. Day four. Why? Morale is high. <laughs> Energy reserves are high. How are you feeling, Matt? Are you, are you annoyed at me and Freddie for uh, keeping you not riding till 9.30? It was, it was the, the 8am set-off was uh, missed by only, only an hour and a half. Whose fault was that? I don't know. I'm going to put most of the blame on Freddie. Can I, can I also point out, the alarm goes off at 7 for the ATM set-off. Why is the alarm at 7? <laughs> Right, we can we can make that time back with a bit of pace on through the desert, can't we, man? Too many days in the darkness, without a glimpse of the light. Running tired and broke. It's like this desert sand going everywhere. What are you eating, Twinkie? Um, other brands are available, such as Fluffy. <laughs> it's delightful, <laughs> but it's not vegan, so not the end. Fluffy. Yeah. Fluffy. Amazing. Good. Would buy again. Would buy again. Hit me up for a sponsorship deal in 2024. For Three. Fluffy. Three. <laughs> no, yeah, we skipped out 2023. That's the Bates year. Laying the groundwork. <laughs> Yeah, 
photos. No photos. Here's up, Max. She gets up. Dropped off by the local taxi now. comes from the nomadic people of the Western Sahara. So it's perfect um, for riding on terrain like this in the desert and uh, the sandy, dusty, dry roads. Yeah, nice change from the English weather and getting some heat and crisping up those tan lines. Thick thing to say to your fans about the football pitches. My fans, I don't think I've got any fans yet, unfortunately. Well, uh, you... we, we, we've gone through like three tiny villages in the middle of absolute nowhere, and they've all got the most beautiful football pitches, which I find pretty incredible. the lowest elevation we've been on the trip so far and you can really start to feel the heat very hot down here uh, pretty much the gateway to the Sahara but we're, we're heading back up to 2,000 meters at the end of this ride uh, at the top of Tizinia Test and we'll be sleeping up there tonight and hopefully there'll be no light pollution so we're hoping to, for some uh, pretty good stars Took advantage while you were having a piss. He did, he did. Uh, Ride to BAM currently. You know, tops 2200. We are currently at, there with, 1200. So I think seeing an 800 BAM is pretty reasonable to the top. Um, Hold him at 30 seconds. Josh is being a trooper with all his bags on. I'm trying to be Mr. Mobile. <laughs> See the summit. Slight cheating. Um, Max is about to be passed. The van has got out the window. And boat reached the top. We're in the last K, how are you feeling? Well, I cracked. <laughs> Big style. 
You wait on the road. How long are you waiting? An hour? Uh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> There's only 100 people on Strava leaderboard, so... I'm in the top 100. Top in the top 100. day of climbing. Freddie's putting his sun cream on. Um, I bought myself a carpet and we're getting up to 3,000 meters today. Fueled by dates. Fueled by dates and then pretty much descending okay. all the way. There's a bit of a, a goat crossing. <laughs> if my performance is anything like one of these mountain goats I'll be absolutely overjoyed. <laughs> I get up to the highest uh, ski station in the whole of Africa today which will be pretty cool and then pretty much descent from there. Over 2,600 meters, and we're heading to above 3,000. The air is getting thinner, 
um, and we're on a, on a gravel track which is getting pretty loose in points so it's like an interval session trying to put a lot of effort on the steep loose bits and then recover on the shallower gradients but it's stunning up here some beautiful views of snow-capped mountains and it's getting a bit more green with um, some alpine plants and uh, a bit more vegetation than it was uh, further down the valley. Have a gravel climb and a gravel descent, but then I thought people would live in this valley, and they do. But yeah, flabbergasted. People walking out there, can't even see the village. Pay my three days get <laughs> Gradual rolling downhill, 40 kilometers down into Marrakesh. Last day, we have two meters altitude to gain and 300 meters to lose. It's 33 kilometers. 